So, Martin, you know all about these things. What is uh, what would you say is the thing that most learners struggle with? Uh, most learners struggle with slow speed control. Right. So that's what we're going to be doing today with Carol. Yeah. Working on slow speed control, so she can exit junctions yep. safely, uh, go around tight turns, moving in and around traffic. So that's what we're working on today. Sounds, sounds like something I might need a bit of a brush up on. Well, and eighty percent of bikers do. Well, that's that's a very good point. And then is the idea if she's up to snuff, we're going to go out for a little ride tomorrow. Oh yeah? yes, we're going to be taking on the mountains of Gran Canaria. Fantastic. Excited. Brilliant. Absolutely. Thank you, Martin. It's, it's a great opportunity. So thanks for doing this. You're welcome. Yeah. So wind on a day and uh, add a few more um, degrees centigrade. It's about 28 out here today. Beautiful day for riding. And uh, Carol has graduated from the car park, as you can see, and we're out on the road. This is Carol in front of me, and then in front of her, we've got uh, Martin. Uh, Martin and Carol are in communication with each other. Uh, Martin judged Carol's progress good enough that uh, she should come out and do a road ride. So that's fantastic. So uh, nothing too taxing, I hope. <laughs> But uh, let's see how we get on. First time Carl's ever ridden on the right, which is quite fun. And the observant ones amongst you may know this. I'm on a different bike. I'm on a Honda CB500X today. I've got a feeling, I think Martin's got a couple of these. This is a bike that uh, I had uh, last year for a couple of weeks. Really, really liked the CB500X. Just a real decent, honest, do-everything motorcycle. Plenty of power. Nice and lightweight as well. Ideal for this sort of environment where you've got some quite challenging roads actually so it's nice to be back aboard the Honda so I've made a couple of videos on the channel now about uh, Carol's learning to ride if you haven't seen those I'll put some links in the corner somewhere she did a CBT uh, back in December and then we've been out on a few rides together not had a great um, deal of opportunities to ride together what with the lockdowns and stuff we've had this year and then the weather not being great and other stuff going on but uh, it's one of those things, I'm putting absolutely no pressure on Carol to learn to ride it. It's entirely up to her if she wants to do it or not, that's fine with me. I'm quite happy for her to be a passenger on the back of my bike when I go on tours if she wants to, or if she doesn't want to come out at all, that's fine. But uh, again, I, you know, I'm not going to discourage her from riding because that would be hypocritical of me, wouldn't it? But after yesterday's um, riding around the car park and uh, Martin's excellent advice, Carol actually did say, I think uh, I need to get myself booked onto some lessons. So uh, that's great news that she's enjoying it and wants to continue so let's hope there's no calamities today that changes her mind but generally speaking if you're uh, you know somebody considering starting to ride or a new rider or you know similar stages carol just learning to ride then uh, all i can say is for me it's certainly changed well it's changed my life immensely learned to ride i've uh, been riding on this stint for about 10 years now i think you're always learning as a rider i certainly learn by following and riding with better riders than me like Martin for example but it just changes your life for the better yes of course we know motorcycling is dangerous but everything has risk associated with it doesn't it if we didn't do anything in life you'd have a pretty boring life so you know be sensible take all the right precautions do what you can to be safe and then there's obviously an element of luck but uh, for me the risk is far outweighed by the massive reward that motorcycling has uh, certainly brought me and that's before I talk about, you know, the fact that I've ended up being a motorcycling YouTuber. That's just the sort of cherry on top. Anyway, that's a long way of saying, you know, I recommend motorcycling to you if you're thinking about it. It's a great thing to do. So one thing you may have noticed, I'm not sure how clearly you can see Carol in front of me through the GoPro, but uh, you'll notice there's no L-plate on a bike. And that's because here in uh, Spain, uh, you get a motorcycle entitlement, sort of equivalent to your CBT, just as part of your driving licence. So uh, I'm not sure whether that's a good idea or not. <laughs> but if you've got a driving license in Spain, you're allowed to ride a motorcycle. I'm not sure up to what power limit. The bike that uh, Carol's on is a 125. But that's why she's not displaying an L plate, even though she has only got a CBT. You know what I was saying? There are parts of the island that looks like Mars. <laughs> Check out this. Got some uh, radio telescope type things there, or maybe they're satellite dishes, I don't know. 
and some pretty arid looking mountains. I'll tell you what, when I said to Carol a few months back, let's go and see uh, Joy and Martin on the Canaries, have a bit of a have a bit of a holiday. <laughs> I bet she didn't think that uh, she was going to end up riding a motorcycle here. How cool is that? That's a Telefonica site, so radio communications as opposed to telescope sites. I correct myself. Looking good. Well, I mentioned previously that I've ridden over here a fair bit over the last uh, five years or so since I've known Martin and Joy and uh, every time I come I go somewhere new I've never been down here in my life cool I'll tell you what Martin is spoiling Carol I mean who gets to learn to ride on roads like these I mean just check this out incredible What a place to ride, eh? Absolutely stunning. And a great test for Carol's uh, slow speed riding, because I have to say, these roads, they're quite challenging. If, you've not, uh, if you're not used to doing lots of hairpins and stuff, and you come over here, you might find it quite difficult. Also, if you haven't got a head for heights. <laughs> Down there. Brilliant. Ta -da. Don't know why I did that, but uh, it seemed appropriate. When we were out riding the other day and um, Carol was on the back of Martin's bike, we were doing routes similar to this. Carol said, I do not know how Martin dares ride around those roads. <laughs> and here she is today, riding around very similar roads at great heights. I have to say, hats off to her. Well done, Carol. Well, this part of the island is absolutely stunning. To me, I've said it before, but it looks just like the Grand Canyon. And uh, the riding around here is pretty challenging for anybody. So, uh, incredible that Carol's uh, doing this so well. When well, I had great confidence in her, of course. But you know, Martin tells me there are plenty of uh, bikers that come out who have been riding for 20, 30 years and struggle on some of these bends. Hot views though. You've got to be careful not to get carried away by looking at them. Well, we're back down from the mountains now, heading back to uh, towards the lockup where the bikes are kept. What an absolutely cracking afternoon's riding we've had. And uh, maybe we'll find out from Carol in a minute what she thought. But uh, I have to say, from where I've been sat, it's all been looking very good. What a fabulous uh, opportunity to ride in the sort of terrain that you definitely don't get in Buckinghamshire. So thanks again to Martin for taking us out today. It's been really a brilliant ride. Thoroughly enjoyed it. So we're back down from the mountain. The good news is it must have been a good ride because we're all none of us are injured, and the bikes we can use again, can't we? So what did you make of that, Carol? Uh, can I put some words in your mouth? Oh, no, I'll let you speak. What do you think? Um, it was very challenging. That was a good word. As yep. a novice rider. Uh, and it was great because I had Martin coaching me through it on intercoms. So thank you, Martin. So how do you think she did, Martin? Oh, I need to trip over my bag. For the first time of riding roads like that, absolutely fantastic. Absolutely Brilliant. fantastic. Full of admiration for her. Yeah. Brilliant. There yeah. you go. We've got it, it on was, film. It was character building, which, <laughs> my, which Andy knows what that actually means. So another few days have passed in our Canary Motorcycles tour. And we're out and about once again. Carol ahead of me on the... Martin's bike and uh, I'm on the Honda 500X another one once again a bit of cracking days riding but uh, just remembered I hadn't said cheerio so uh, I want to say thanks very much indeed to Martin and Joy for having us back out again at uh, Canary Motorcycle Tours it's been an absolutely fabulous few days hello to all the chaps I met whilst uh, Carol and I were out here we had some great evenings great food as usual great scenery great riding been an awful lot of fun if you ever fancy doing something like this, then do come on down here. The great thing about the Canaries is it's weather like this pretty much all year round. 
So if you get fed up with the dark days in Blighty, pick yourself up, come on down. Right, I think it's uh, time for our lunch stop. Okay, look forward to speaking to you again soon. Hope you enjoyed that. Until next time, this has been the Mr. Fly. Cheerio.